Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, logistics and supply chain management. So, let's begin. Question number 1, what is the objective of a supply chain? The answer is, to improve the efficiency and responsiveness, across the whole supply chain and, also deliver improved value to the customers. Question number 2, what does quantity flexibility coordination contract? refers to. The answer is, the customer gives a preliminary forecast and then, it can get fixed order in an interval around the forecast. Question number 3, what optimization does modeling approach, focuses on? The answer is, modeling approach focuses on. 1. Fine-tuning the existing decision rules. 2. Reducing time delays at and within each stage of the supply chain. 3. Integrating the flow of information. Question number 4. What are the objectives of MRP? The answer is, objectives of MRP are 1. Ensure materials are available for production and products are available for delivery to customers. 2. Maintain the lowest possible material and product levels in store. 3. Plan manufacturing activities, delivery schedules and purchasing activities. Question number 5. Which process of supply chain process, JIT belongs to? The answer is, it belongs to, manufacturing flow management process. Question number 6, what will you do if you run out of stock? The answer is, the interviewer is expecting a methodical, strategic plan as running out of stock could cause quite detrimental delays to service slash production. 1. You are required to detect the stock situation. 2. Check if there are any outstanding orders or deliveries. 3. Rectify the situation. Identify source the stock slash cover any shortages in a quick time. Now, what is important, is to prevent the issue happening again. Dealing with the issue quickly, is all well and good, but being able to deal with it, and then prevent it from happening again is an attribute which, companies would look out for an applicant supplying to a supply chain role. Question number 7, what according to you, are the key skills, to be a successful supply chain manager? The answer is, I believe, that in order to become a successful supply chain manager, one should have a strong customer service background as well as the ability to negotiate well. Also, as a managerial profile strong levels of analysis and problem-solving skills are also key and to perform efficiently. To support your answer, give relevant and recent examples of when you have demonstrated the use of the skills identified as key, by using the STAR technique as a guideline. Question number 8. What is the primary objective, of supply chain management? The answer is, on the primary purpose of supply chain management, is to ensure that the inventory is readily available in customer-facing positions to fulfill demand. This will help, the company to reduce waste, drive out costs, and achieve efficiencies in the supply chain. Question number 9, how do you differentiate, between logistics and supply chain management? The answer is, very often, logistics and supply chain management are used interchangeably, but they primarily refer to two aspects of the process. Logistics refers, to what happens within one company, including the purchase and delivery of raw materials, packaging, shipment, and transportation of goods to distributors. On the other hand, supply chain management refers, to a larger network of outside organizations that work together to deliver products to customers, including vendors, transportation providers, call centers, warehouse providers, etc. Question number 10. What do you understand by SKU in supply chain? The answer is, in inventory management, a stock keeping unit or SKU is defined as a specific item stored to a specific location. SKU is primarily intended as the most disaggregated level when dealing with inventory, such that all the units stored are the same SKU and are supposed to be indistinguishable. Question number 11. What is the theft in small amounts of goods, merchandise, or inventory called? The answer is, pilferage is the theft of part of the contents of a package. It may also include, theft of the contents but leaving the package, perhaps resealed with bogus contents. Small packages, can be pilfered from a larger package such as a shipping container. Question number 12, what is the objective of a supply chain? The answer is, a supply chain, is actually a complex and dynamic supply and demand network. A supply chain, is a system of organizations, people, activities, information, and resources involved in moving a product or service from supplier to customer. The objective of a supply chain, 
is to improve the efficiency and responsiveness across the whole supply chain and also deliver improved value to the customers. Question number 13. How economies of scale in transportation, achieved? The answer is, economies of scale in transportation, is achieved if the mode of shipment is FTL or full truck load means, that the load will fill up the entire truck. Shippers that accommodate, full truck loads cater to those customers who typically ship in bulk. The large amount of goods being shipped offsets the cost of a larger truck. Question number 14. What is the major benefit, of private warehousing over public? The answer is, private warehousing, offers greater degree of control over the process and warehousing of the products as compared to public warehouses, as public warehouses are to be shared with others. Question number 15. Which chain partner will he held responsible for the non-availability of some item? The answer is, the departmental store, is held responsible for the non-availability of the item. For example, if a customer visiting a departmental store cannot find his desired soap manufactured by Hindustan Unilever Limited, HUL, in the store, then the departmental store is held responsible. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.